What is up, guys? Y'all know your boy Firefly here, and this is Let's Play Amateur Surgeon 2, finally! Now, you're probably wondering, why does Alan Probe look like a freaking grandpa? Well, see, the thing is, it's been like that long since I played Amateur Surgeon 1, so yeah, this is it. It's been like literally years ever since- no. It's, it's almost been a year since I played a Amateur Surgeon 1, and given that, you know, it's like- it, No, it is my- the most popular series that I've ever done on my channel, so you know what? We're gonna go right into the second one and please you guys, because you know you wanted it. And here it is. Start up a new game, right here. Yeah, who cares? I've only, I've only played like one act, so I've only done like a little bit of this game. Sir, our best doctors are baffled. Your condition is just too weird. That's all you have to say? Al, please sir, there is hope. May I present? Alan, amateur surgeon probe. Ah uh, yes, not the best picture. <laughs> That's a bit better. Alan probe, that man is total... Genius, sir? He's ancient! He's probably mental! And I know for a fact that he's been in retirement for the last 30 years. He may be our only hope. It's true that he may be a little rusty. Which is why I suggest the following. Hmm, an intriguing and sexy move, my dusty old friend. Uh, I'm looking for Ali Alan Probe, the retired surgeon. Forced retirement, I'll have you know, but yep, legendary surgeon Alan Probe, right here. By the way, your friend in the doorway appears to be bleeding miser messily to death on the carpet. Uh, <laughs> Woohoo! I'll fix him. I can get into trouble if you came to me. Bring him through to my toilet. My skills are as rusty as my tools, but I'm sure it'll all come back to me. Probably. Tommy Gracefuls. If you guys don't know, this is the second person that we uh that we operated on in Amateur Surgeon One. The first being our dear old uh, Doctor Bleed, as you saw. Alan was playing a nice little game of chess with him. We don't want scars, so we'll just have to use special cream. Yes, yes. We all know this, Alan from Amateur Surgeon One. Surgery is like a box of chocolates. Sometimes there's another layer underneath. Oh, our rusty old pizza cutter is still the same way it was. Use our tongs now. We have to gently grab the tongs or jab the uh, dragon glass out because if you do it too fast, it might uh suck. Now here's something that's different. Instead of using staples, we use needle and thread, so we just like draw it up like that. I have to say this is a little bit harder than using need staples. And uh, which is kind of understandable, I guess. I mean, the staples were pretty easy to freaking uh. It was pretty easy to like close the wounds with staples. It's not how it is in real life. There we go. Now close to up. Now to close up the exit wound and you're done. Oh, Alan, how I missed you so much. So I'm guessing that that uh person that were that is that visited uh, visited yeah this guy. Hmm, sorry about that. They don't usually bleed as much. My god, you- that was incredible. Huh, that's what they all said back in the day. Right before all my hospitals got shut down by the government for being partial- partial- I, I don't know that word. <laughs> Mr. Probe, allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Bradley. Yes, that'll do. May I present a person who would like to give you yet another chance to practice surgery again? Hey, they'd have to be pretty brave. I wasn't kidding when I said I was rusty. I figured that might be an issue, but I may have the solution. Let me explain. Okay, so we can actually uh, upgrade our stuff a little bit right here. Let's uh, just be a little bit classic and upgrade our pizza cutter. I got an A. I don't think I've ever gotten an A on any of the uh, cases in Amateur Surgeon 1. So basically all you had to do was like not miss anything in the cases, so you get an A. I'm a su So yeah, that guy apparently wants to recruit us to save the guy that he was... Uh, that he was uh, talking to in the very first cutscene, which I'm assuming is some sort of high official. Now, let me actually see how much time has passed by. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. So let's move on to this shaded figure over here. And so, that is my proposal. That was a long, dull explanation. Let me see if I stayed awake long enough to get it. You want me, a 70-year-old surgeon, in forced retirement, to perform a really weird surgery on... Ah, oh, damn it, yes. I can't read so fast. <laughs> but you can't tell me who it is? No. And you think if I operate them now, I'll mess it up because I'm so old and rubbish and out of practice? It was more polite, but yes. 
So your plan is to sneak through injured people in here so I can practice until I'm good enough again. Yes. <laughs> Sounds pretty crazy to me. And I have to be careful when I press next too because it might just skip on me. Great, who's... I saw that. It was great. Who's next? Tony Elias. Or Alias. Yeah. <laughs> Elias. This is dangerous. I can't see what's causing the trouble. I'll need the Ultrasound 5000. AKA Mr. Metal Detector. So when I see green, that means I have to cut. Right? No. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. What? Yeah, that's... What am I doing wrong? That's... Ugh, okay, that was close enough, Alan. It's close enough. Uh, there. Now what else? This is the right place, right? Good. Blood. Too much bleeding is bad for the patient, and it also makes it hard to see what you're doing. Select the vacuum. I don't think the vacuum actually, like, you know, uh, causes the patient less bleeding and it'll, you know, cause them to lose less health. But, yeah. I don't know. It's good for doing it if you can't see anything. This right here, obviously, is our heart rate, and if it drops to zero, you lose. For those of you who have not seen me play Amateur Surgeon 1, and the uh, timer right here, if that runs out, then you lose as well. Yeah, as he just said. Come on, where is it? Right here. Okay. Sweet. Oh, God. Stealing so much stuff, Mr. Tony. A lot. Alias. <laughs> I almost said Elias again. Oh, it's been so long, Mr. Probe. Okay, let's cut you open over here. Here. What else do you have? Here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you even snuck yourself a little passport in you. Isn't that nice? Close you up. Boosh. Alright, sit you up, boy. I almost ran out of time, too. That's kind of freaking pathetic. Hey, <laughs> look at me. Oh, Alan Probes. Urgening once again. I must say, you are really amazing. That, that was nothing. I'm just starting to warm up again. Eh, what else do we need? Quicker cuts. Easier extraction. Quicker burning. Quicker healing. Less stitches needed. You know what? This is kind of a pain in the ass, so I'm just going to upgrade the stitches. Yeah, another A. Huh. I'm gonna move on to this fine fellow over here. You know, I'm gonna actually check something real quick. Okay, good. Game did not crash. I've read all about you, you know. How you started as a pizza boy and cleared the great Dr. Bleed at that murder charge. Yep, it was all in the rage back day, back in the day. You know they even made a video game about me? Yeah, I could never get past, get the hang of the corkscrew. I hope if they do a sequel, they'll change it for something less awful. Yep. <laughs> yes, anyway. If you want to hear more stories, wheel in the next patient. I can cut and chat. Probably. Richard Thumble. I like your beard, sir. Prevention might be the best cure, but when a patient is really close to death, sometimes only a giant injection of the wazoo will do. Select the syringe. Yeah. This is too hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my cheating got the better of me. Yeah, if you see me do this, that means I'm cheating. And I think the corkscrew is a lot easier than this, by the way. If you're playing it legitly, of course. If you're just cheating, then yeah. Hey, hey. Oops. What? Okay, I'm assuming I'm not supposed to pick that up right away. So, yeah. Let's keep going. Okay. Why can't I pick this up? Someone explain this to me. And I don't have to like actually follow the thing this time in the vacuum. Why can't I pick, why can't I pick this up? <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me before. Oh. <laughs> I was like simply pushing it up, but I didn't want to do. 
Do I have to actually chainsaw these kidneys out? Because it's going to be a pain in the ass if I have to. There we go. Just heal you up. He does have stuff in him. Alright, where are they? Oh, here they are. I've got another one. I don't know why that was so hard for me before. There we go again, and pulling you out. No. Come on. Now we just stitch you up, and we should be done. Who knows? And that's pretty much the story. Dr. Bleed and I, we set up many of the probe and bleed hospitals. Our students could operate anywhere with anything. Then a new government came in and shut us all down. I am so sorry. I mean, Mr. Probe, I need to attend some issues, but I will keep a steady supply of our patients coming your way. Ha, huh, just keep them coming. Let's upgrade the stitches all the way because of that. Oh, I, I just barely got a freaking D. I could have almost got a C. Oh, whatever. So let's see what this guy is. At last, some quality time with a patient. So tell me about yourself. Well, when I was growing up, I, I meant tell me about your weird injury or illness, the good stuff. I have brittle bones. Every moment I live is agony. Sounds amazing. Let's start poking around. Oh, Alan, how did you get to where you are today? Let's cut you up. Always use the right tool. For tricky jobs like cutting bones or tough organs. Or failing that, just use a chainsaw app. There we go. I wonder if this is... I don't even remember if this was easier or harder than it was before. My computer is slowing down, so that's kind of sucking. Uh, come on. Once you got the bones loose, grab it with the tongs. If you're doing a transplant, take the replacement from the tray and drop it into place. Alright, let's just take you out over there. And then burn it and cream it, like always. Sweet! Yep. When you're doing transplants, you need to chance out of the thingy out. And then, yeah. Burn and cream it like always. Okay. Wow, this... I don't even need a stitch anymore. It's just like, boop. Yeah, it doesn't need a friggin' eh. I wonder if... I should probably upgrade the chainsaw next since it's probably gonna be a pain in the ass for me to use it because it still kind of is. At least now it's not like, you know, terrible. I do applaud them for fixing that. I don't know if you guys can hear my computer or not, but it sounds like it's going to explode. There we are. Get you open. Yeah. Wow. I would not like to live in your shoes, Mr. Sir. I don't even remember what your name was. That's how much I love my patients. <laughs> Now let's pull your little bones out of your body. Oh my god, it's so much easier to stitch. It's almost like I have staples again. Heal you, and then you. And then we'll stitch you up. <laughs> that wasn't even close to being good, but hey. If it works, it works. Well, your bones won't be giving you any more problems. How come? You don't have, you don't have any more. I replaced them all with metal junk I had lying around. So stay away from electrical equipment. Haha, -ha, I like you. You're a kidder. I like kidders. No, seriously. If you as much look at a microwave, you will die. Haha, -ha, classic bedside manner. Love it. <laughs> oh my god, Alan. Pretty sure I replaced you your thingy with regular uh with regular uh bones, but hey. Yay, a Alright. Let's see how much time we have left. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. So, Doctor, I hear you're pretty extreme, but you look a bit old and past to me. 
I'll have you know I once saved the world from the Spider Queen's evil sisterhood using only my wits and a sparkly thong. No, wait, that might not have been me. Ah, whatever. I want you to take a look. I want you to take it to the next level. I want you to be your surgical can canvas of agony. Pay me with pain. <laughs> she really works for me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Alan. Must we really... Sounds like she wants some extreme piercings. The lungs are the obvious choice. Oh, God. Ugh. That's nasty. Okay, then. Let's close you up. The good thing about the needle and thread, though, is that it does not, uh... What? Oh, she wants the scars there? Okay, that's fine. The good thing about the needle and thread is that it does not, like, actually hurt them if you miss. So that's an upgrade to the staple, I guess. Oh, we got some extreme piercings in the heart, huh? Stab you in the heart. Not shot in the heart, but it's stabbed in the heart. Alright. Ah, that was amazing! I aim to please. Or at least not hit any of my organs. What? Britch. You know she something about butt cheeks. <laughs> uh, I don't use staples anymore. Be seeing you. Well, that was strange and awful. Alan, Dr. Pope, how's it going? Aha, ha, it's just like old times. Except Bleed is dead. I'm in a home and my family have all abandoned me. Bummer. Your family? Where are they? Ah, classic story. Young surgeon rockets to fame and fortune, marries the vigilant girl for his dreams in the first game, and two kids. Then all his hospitals get sunk down. He sinks into depression and drives his family crazy with his self-loathing. And he ends up in a home. That old chestnut. Wow. But doing surgery again is great. I feel really st I'm really starting to get the hang of it. That's ex that's excellent. Damn it. <laughs> I freaking knew I should have waited, but whatever. That's ex I'll, I know that Briley says it's excellent news. So that's good. Oh, poor Alan. Lost everything. Yay. See what we have next. I have a medical condition, Doc. But there's no easy way to say it. Is it one of those really long Latin words? Maybe if crustaceans is Latin. Oh. It's not what you think. I just ate some bad crab eggs, is all. <laughs> oh yeah, I was thinking something way different. There, there, there. Before we go and uh, cut deeper into her, we're going. I'm gonna have to use the syringe. There, there, and there. Alright, let's use the syringe. No! Okay. Now come on, right click, there we go. Alright, we're all good. Don't mind me cheating. A crab? Ew, I bet we can use the chainsaw for massive damage. I bet we could. God damn it. Is he scared of my freaking... There we go. I was like, is he scared of my freaking mouse, the son of a bitch? Alright, let's just close her up. And maybe that's it? If, that, if that's the case, then that was really freaking easy. Nope. I just seen the last one. Yeah, they're just flat out scared. Wow, that guy's fast. I'm not gonna lie. Got him. Let's get those out. And I can kind of see why they stress to use the vacuum now, because it is kind of hard to see. Let's close out those wounds so you stop bleeding. Holy crap. Oh, is that closed? Yeah, that is closed. Can't even tell myself sometimes. Oh god, you're dying. Fill you up. I don't need to use a friggin' syringe, you're fine. Yeah, one more up there, I didn't even see that. 
Oh no, there's another one down there. Okay. Close you up and maybe that's it. Hey. Oh, that feels good. Steady, just because my wife left me doesn't mean she couldn't walk in any minute. You're an amazing guy. So chivalrous. Yeah, that. Plus, I don't fancy operating on myself in the event of a heart attack. Bye now, to stay classy. Alright, so what do we upgrade now? Heal more health? I would take that any day. I didn't even get a freaking... B... <laughs> Whatever, let's see how much time has passed so far. I think I could be able to do like an act every single uh, episode of that's the case. And if that's the case, this game is going to be really short, but... No, I'm just going to do one more and that'll be it. Ah! Oh god, it's a clown! A horrible, horrible clown! Uh, it's just like when the ki it's just like every kid's party I've ever done. <laughs> Are you going to scream and break my nose when I start pulling things out of my pants too? Uh, maybe. Sorry, I think I've got it under control now. Right, well the problem is... Ah! Clown! <laughs> sorry, sorry. So what's the problem? Well, imagine pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Except I didn't accidentally sit on my rabbit and get him stuck halfway up my hat. If you get... <laughs> I wish this kind of thing was a bit less common. Like, the act is if you have this all the time, Alan. Well, knowing Alan, it probably is a common thing, but whatever. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> oh, God. Poor nose. Don't even use anesthesia on him, because obviously enough. He's, he sees my eyes, or he sees with his eyes. Yeah, let's get you open. I thought that was a I thought that was a real life bird. Shit. Creatures flopping and squirming around inside people are surprisingly common. The car battery is our friend here. Just have to shock him. Where are you, mister? I think I have to actually clean that up with the I think that might poison him. I don't know, I could be wrong. Okay, I can't shock him twice. It's not like the first game. I can't even see him like this. Okay, let's heal you up. What? Oh! <gasps> wow, he actually freaking died. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yes, yes, we all know you hate clowns, Alan. Right, let's try that again, but before we dig in, we're going to, uh... I don't even need to clean that up. I don't even need to clean that up. I already know what's under it. Before we uh, dig in, we're going to have to actually fill him up a bit. Alright. Now let's dig in. Let's shock him up. All right, now we'll heal you. Now where are you? There you are. And you do scratch him whenever you make your little runs. You need to be careful about that. Now where are you gonna come from, boy? Dead. All right. Now let's, uh... Oh, no, that's, that's not even a big wound. You have some other stuff in you? What am I missing? Do I just need to, like... Oh, I just needed to clean up all this stuff? Okay. What else you got for me, boy? Uncle Chuckles? Uncle Chuckles. Here. Hello. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh no, you poor rabbit, sir. Uh... Alright, let's close that. I think that might be it. Oh, Mr. Bunny. I know I say this every time, but I promise that'll never happen again. Thank you. Ah, clown! <laughs> I'm leaving. Meanwhile, what's meanwhile? 
Let's see. I'm not pressing next. So how is the good doctor progressing? He's a phenomenon. His technique is baffling. But when he gets into a flow... Oh, when he gets into a flow. I can only imagine what, what he must have been like at the peak of his skills. Well, I'll tell you, it was good. God, why don't you just marry him if you love him so much? I didn't mean to get carried away, sir. Yeah, I hope you didn't, Bradley. That would have been gay. Just make sure he'll be ready. I don't have much wronger. I don't... Did I just say wronger? Yes, I'm, I think I might be coming Chinese, guys, so, you know. Don't mind me. Uh, Upgrade you. Yeah, I got an A. Alright, on the next episode... Yeah, I'm gonna stop it right here because I've already got a couple of... Time, a little bit of time passed. So, I'm gonna stop it right here. In the next episode, we're gonna venture on to whoever this little boy is. He's obviously not a little boy. He seems like a full-grown man. But whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Amateur Surgeon 2, and I hope you guys come back for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. It really means a lot to me. Other than that, that wraps up this video. This is Firefly signing off, and until next time, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.